Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. In this week's episode, we're going to look at my Dirty Dog Cargo Liner. That's the brand name for the Cargo Liner, Dirty Dog. Let's have a look. In last week's video on the ideal camping table, some viewers noticed that I use a cargo liner in the back of my Jeep and they asked some questions. So this week we're going to cover the Dirty Dog Cargo Liner for those of you that might be interested in getting one for yourself. Let's start by looking over here at the tailgate. Part of the liner attaches to the tailgate by means of these velcro strips. And when necessary, that liner on the tailgate can attach to these velcro strips to protect the edge of your bed and your bumper when lifting in some heavy objects. And when you're done, you just simply reattach it to the back of the tailgate and it protects the tailgate while in transit. And the protection doesn't end there. Let's have a look inside. The cargo liner is secured at the front of the Jeep to the back of the headrest of the driver's and the passenger's seat. Those straps hold a metal bar that holds the cargo liner upright and protects the backs of the seats. There's protection all along the side of the back of the cargo bay by means of these attachment points to the tub. And there's also a velcro strap that you can open up to have access to the things in your liner from the side door. You can see how deep the cargo liner is to store a lot of items that you might be carrying. There's a velcro strip on the other side as well. And there's the straps that show how you connect the sides of the cargo liner to the tub. And then I just use a little brush to wipe away any sawdust or soil or dirt that happens to collect while I'm using the cargo liner. Here's a look here at the side of the Jeep and you can see how the straps at the bottom of the liner hold it in place on the headrest of the rear seat that's folded down. And there's the strap at the top of the headrest of the passenger seat. And for those of you that notice what I use for a little garbage container, I'll make sure to cover that in this week's tip segment. And now let's have a look at the pros and cons of using a cargo liner like the Dirty Dog Cargo Liner. For one, it covers a very large area. It covers the backs of the seats, the sides, and the tailgate. Two, it seems to be made of a very durable nylon weave fabric with a rubberized backing. From my three years experience, this product is extremely well constructed. This is evidenced by very strong attachment points like snaps and straps and the Velcro. And then finally, there are very few gaps in the design that would permit any dirt or water to get past the liner and dirty your Jeep. Now let's have a look at the cons. For starters, I found that it had a very poor contoured fit. It seemed loose around the sides and you could see here at the tailgate that on the passenger side it just sort of buckles away from the side of the Jeep and on the driver's side it's not really attached to the side there either to any attachment points to keep the fabric from folding over when you close the tailgate and that sort of thing. Another con is that this design does not have any access to the attachment points beneath the liner. It would be very handy if you have items to secure if you had access to those attachment points. 
And finally, the last con is that there's no 60-40 split adaptability for your rear seats. The rear seats have to be down when using this cargo liner. There's no flexibility to fold any part of the liner up based on which part of the back seat you wish to use. And now in our tip segment, we're going to look at another brand of cargo liner with some different features that you might find helpful. Let's have a look. Now for some cheaper, jeeper tips. It'll be helpful for comparison purposes to keep our Dirty Dog Cargo Liner pros and cons list in mind. We can start by doing a search for Jeep Wrangler Cargo Liner. You'll see many unfamiliar name brand options. But let's have a look at the Rugged Ridge brand and see how it compares. For JK owners, there is a JK option, but let's have a look at the JL option so we can compare it to the Dirty Dog Liner in my JL. You can see here that the Rugged Ridge model is very similar in design and has very similar coverage area. However, a closer look will reveal some differences. For example, the tailgate protector is attached to the liner and cannot be attached to the tailgate itself. There also appears to be better fitment around the edges. Also, there seems to be access to the tie-down points on the floor of the Jeep. And from there, when you look further up on the cargo liner, there appears to be some Velcro straps in a 6040 configuration, which will permit you to use this cargo liner with either the 40% seat or the 60% seat, as you see in this visual. So when comparing it to the Dirty Dog cargo liner, both liners have a large coverage area. Given that I have not used the Rugged Ridge liner, I can't comment on the durability of the fabric or how well it's constructed or how strong the attachment points are. But there do seem to be a number of gaps in the cover, which could be a pro or a con because if you're afraid of things getting past the liner, you wouldn't want those openings. However, if you wanted access to the tie down points, then it'd be an advantage. In terms of the cons of the Dirty Dog Cargo Liner, the Rugged Ridge Cargo Liner has none of them. The Rugged Ridge Cargo Liner has a very good contoured fit, it has attachment point access, and it also has 60-40 split adaptability so that you could use your cargo liner even when carrying a passenger in the rear seats. All in all, I've had my Dirty Dog Cargo Liner for three years and with all the pros and the few cons on the list, I'm very satisfied with it and happy with its performance. But as promised earlier, here's some information on what I use as a garbage can in the Jeep. This is the carcan.com garbage container slash cooler. The inside is waterproof, so you could put ice to keep things cool. It's easily cleaned. It can hang on the back of your headrest or even on your front grab bar in front of the passenger if you like. It also comes with convenient pockets on the outside to store some items. The wire frame opening allows it to shut tightly or remain open. And it's just a handy little thing to have to help keep things tidy in the Jeep because as you know, there's not a lot of storage compartments in the Wrangler. And now let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from last week's video on the ideal camping table. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV! Ha 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 ha! Coleman is anything but cheaper! You know what's cheaper? A folding card table you get from the flea market or a thrift store. Signed, Wylatron. Hey Wylatron, I'd be crazy to argue with that one. That's a great tip. Thank you so much for sharing. And if any of you have a similar tip from this week's video or any video from Cheaper Jeeper TV, please feel free to share it in the comments section below and we'll try to use it in an upcoming episode. Thank you very much.
Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. We hope you found it interesting. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss our next video. Until the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.